Lesson 21 today is all about averages. And the first question says to find the average of 9, 12, and 18. Let's get the pen tool. Right? We're using brown color today. Let's use, let's use blue instead. Find the average of 9, 12, and 18. So if we want to find the average of numbers, well, we have to take that set of numbers. And the first thing that we have to do is find the sum of all the numbers. Then we have to divide by the number of numbers. That's the definition of an average. Let's write it out. Average is equal to the sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers. So if we've got these three numbers, 9, 12, and 18, and we want to find the average of them, let's go ahead and find the sum of 9, 12, and 18. So 9 plus 12 plus 18. Now we know order of addition doesn't matter, so I like to say 12 plus 18 first, because 12 plus 18 is 30, and 30 plus 9 must be 39. So the sum of all the numbers is equal to 39, and the number of numbers, well, we have one number, two numbers, three numbers. So we're going to divide by three, because there's three numbers we can see here. Divide 39 by three. 39 divided by three is equal to 13. So we've got our average. The average of 9, 12, and 18 must be equal to 13. Let's move on to our next example. All right, we want to find the average of some bigger numbers. We have 1,765, 742, and 21,050. So the first thing we need to do is find the sum of those three numbers. So we're going to say 1,765, and we're going to add on 742 to that. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 4 is 10. We'll carry that one. One plus seven is eight. Eight plus seven, eight plus seven, that's gonna give us 15. We'll carry that one. One plus one is two. We have 2,507. Let's add 21,050 to that. 21,050 plus 2,507. Zero plus seven is seven. 5 plus 0 is 5, 0 plus 5 is 5, 1 plus 2 is 3, and we've got a 2. So we've got a sum of 23,557. So when we're finding the average, we know we're going to have to say the sum divided by the number of numbers. So we have 23,557, and we're going to divide that by 3, because we have 3 numbers again. Let's go ahead and find out what our answer is. 23,557. Let's divide that by 3. Well, 3 goes into 23 seven times. We get 21 with 2 left over. Let's bring down our 5. 3 goes into 25 eight times. We have 24. We have 1 left over. We'll bring down our next 5. 3 goes into 15, five times. We've got 15, zero left over with a seven. 3 goes into seven, two times. We get six. We have one left over. Let's add a decimal point. So we have point zero. We'll add our decimal point here as well. So we've got a zero. 3 goes into 10, three times. We get 9, and we have 1 left over. Well, we're going to add another 0. We've got 10 again. We're running out of room. But 3 is going to go into 10 three times again. We can see we've got a pattern forming here. It's always going to be 1 left over, and it's always going to go in three times. So our answer is going to be equal to 7,852. Point three 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 just keeps going. To show that, we've got a 3 in our tenths place, our tenths place, and we've got the bar over the top of it. 
This bar over the top means this pattern of 3 continues forever and ever. Now an alternative way we could have written our answer would it be to say this is equal to 7,852. And we had one third as the mixed part of our mixed number. Well, we've got our answer. Both ways get us full credit. Pick the method that you like best to report your answer, and you're all done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. The average of four numbers is 10. Three of the numbers are 2, 4, and 17. What is the fourth number? Well, in this, we're given the average. The average is equal to 10. So 10 is going to be equal to the sum of the numbers plus the number of numbers. We know there's four numbers here, so let's fill that in. Three of the numbers are 2, 4, and 17. But we don't know what the fourth number is equal to. We'll call that x. Let's circle the x so that we remember that that's what we're trying to solve for. Let's simplify here first. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 plus 17 is 23. So we have 10 is equal to 23 plus x divided by 4. Now, you tell me, what number divided by 4 is equal to 10? Well, hopefully you said 40, because 40 divided by 4, 40 divided by 4 is equal to 10. So what that means is we have to make this top 40. 23 plus what is 40? 23 plus x is equal to 40. Well, we know we could find that answer by rearranging and subtracting. 40 minus 23, that's going to give us, borrow from the 4, we've got 3, a 10, 10 minus 3 is 7, and 3 minus 2 is 1. We've got 17 x must be equal to 17. So our answer for this question, what is the fourth number? The fourth number must be 17. And we finish with this problem. The lesson practice will be on page 75. Make sure you've got your notes completed, and I'll see you during our next class.